अस्सलाम वालेकुम जी आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल और पिछला लेक्चर्स आपने सारे देख लिए होंगे uh, आज हम वहीं से आगे शुरू करेंगे नमेरिकल से फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एक क्विक रिकैप लेते हैं कि लास्ट टाइम हमने क्या पढ़ा था सो वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट साइकिल इन्वेंटरी द रोल ऑफ साइकिल इन्वेंटरी इन सप्लाई चेन एंड वी वुड लाइक टू सी दैट व्हाट इज अ लॉट और बैच साइज सो वी सर के हर हर बार इन एवरी टाइम वट एवर क्वान्टिटी दैट वी ऑर्डर और वट एवर क्वान्टिटी दैट वी प्रोड्यूस इज कॉल्ड लॉट और बैच साइज बैच साइज के हवाले से हमने चैप्टर वन में जब हम पढ़ रहे थे मैनुफेक्चरिंग uh, के हवाले से तो वहाँ हमने डिटेल में बैच साइज का भी पढ़ा था बैच नंबर्स का पढ़ा था सो बैच साइज और लॉट साइज मीन इन अ सिंगल इंस्टेंस ऑफ टाइम हाउ मच आर यू प्रोड्यूसिंग और हाउ मच यू आर प्रोक्योरिंग और परचेजिंग सो and then we said that uh, because this lot size or batch size is to focus economies of scale so that leads to more than uh, that leads to quantity more than the demand that we have for a certain period to agar hum zyada quantity purchase kar rahe hain so it builds up an inventory uh, in the supply chain and that average inventory is also called cycle inventory then we saw a graph uh, that reflected um, that was the demand or days and that was the quantity and we said that if we let's say for a 200 demand per day and we purchase 1000 units so it would take 5 days to finish we refill it and then next 5 days to finish we refill it and then next 5 days to finish and we have two quantities here q and q1 or q0 or q <coughs> so we said that uh, to find an average what would we do we will add the two limits that is q0 and q q0 is always zero so it ultimately leads us to q over we also said ki we are not considering uh, any extra uh, circumstances or any other issues that are concerned with inventory right now we only have to focus on a steady demand that there is a steady demand in uh, 200 per day means 200 per day there will be no fluctuation and how many days that inventory will uh, will be there in your inventory we said that q by 2d is the formula for that that is this q to found to throughput for that we will you can uh, see in the book as well when we have uh, something here which was a numerical that we calculated average inventory level for cycle inventory and then we saw the average flow time we conducted an example of it as well and then cycle inventory adds five days so that is that the, the product or the inventory and spends 5 days to get out of the system and then we discussed why is lower cycle inventory is better and we said that because it would be a uh, lesser flow time and it would require less capital and less holding cost but then why do we have ci is to take advantage of economies of scale and ultimately reducing the cost in the supply chain i hope that you have read these things from the book as well because if you have not then the concepts would not be clear and you will not be able to ask questions and if you not be able to ask questions it would be really hard for you to understand if you, it would be really hard for you to pull off the numericals or the twists in the numericals uh then we saw a few things that was material cost is c uh, ordering cost is s and s represents all the cost that incur with each order so all that cost cost a b c whatever it is it if it incurs with the order so we say that it is in it is ordering cost then we have holding cost that can be presented in two ways that is either we will have either we will have a full amount that is h is equal to let's see amount as say 100 dollars or rupees per unit per year 
but when we say smaller h that is hc we say h is equal to the percentage so let's say we say 10 percent so 10 percent of what of c what is c c is the material cost got that so primary role of cycle inventory uh, is to manage lot size in a way that it can ultimately reduce the overall total annual cost however we also discussed a uh, discussed problem that is that uh, cycle uh, each partner at every stage is an owner normally and they are independent people they take their own decisions which ultimately leads to effects uh, bad effects such as bull whip effect that we have already studied so let's move it on and then we said that to find out what is the best quantity we will go for economic order quantity and we also uh, got ourselves familiar with the formula of total annual cost which had two components which had two components which had two components that is total annual supply chain cost and this is total annual material cost and both of these components combined together to form total annual cost <coughs> and we also said that cd in most of the cases remains the constant because whatever number of quantity that you order you will have to pay for that so it does not affect your supply chain cost in this very particular scenario we are not talking about other factors involved in this i also gave you uh, gave you a question uh, that you had to do you had to assume a few things so we'll get to that as well okay we'll get to this later and then we discuss this graph which was uh, to reflect total cost it had three component material cost order cost and holding cost holding cost had a direct relationship with uh, lot size and the more lot you have the more holding cost you will have to be ordering cost had a dimension return type of relationship uh, where uh, for the first unit you add in the lot size the ordering cost drops significantly but as you start adding up the lot size or uh, getting the lot size up uh, the marginal difference in the order cost will reduce and ultimately it will be flattened and then we have material cost which is fixed so all these three components combine and make a uh, make the total cost and we have to find an equilibrium point that equilibrium point basically reflects the lowest cost point so we have to get through this thing okay. so now getting back to that question which i gave you for the practice so it was a demand the demand let me just get to these things and So demand was 84,000 per year. Uh, then we have ordering cost, which was 5,000. Then we had material cost, which was 100. And then we had holding cost, which was I think that was how much? Fifty percent. So we'll put it in the formula of total cost. So the formula for total cost was total annual cost was C D plus D by Q S plus Q by two H C. And I ask you to take uh, any number of Q uh, that you you think is a better quantity 
to order in such scenario uh, and you had to submit the answer i am not talk right now uh, is waqt mein isse jo maine aapke liye assignment se jo bhi question maine is uh, relevant lecture ke hawale se pucha hota hai aur uske liye google classroom ke upar maine question generate kiya hota hai abhi main uski deadlines nahi de raha but from next week onward you will have deadlines so you better watch the lecture uh, according to your class time and then do the question right that uh, right there okay aisa nahi hona chahiye ki aap dekhein bole acha chalo kar dete nahi kiya to nahi kiya agar aap practice nahi karenge it would make it harder for you to main let's say hum uh, q le lete hain 20000 so cd we know that 84000 into 100 okay c is 100 and d is 84000 maybe demand we know is 84000 divided by 20000 quantity multiply by 5000 that is our ordering cost plus q by 2 so q we have assumed 20000 and value to hc is 50% that is 0.5 multiply by c is 100 so that is 5 so we get 84 plus we get we get to you know so we get so we have it uh, 4.2 multiplied by 5000 plus that is 10000 multiplied by 10 So that leaves us with eight four. That is eight point four million plus twenty one thousand plus. I think that is hundred thousand. When you add them up, so we get that is twenty one thousand plus one hundred thousand. Plus eight point four millions. We get eight five two one two thousand. So you may may check them. Uh, I'm just calculating randomly, but the process is in front of you. So, so this is how you uh find it. Now the problem is that. we don't know that whether this is correct uh, whether this is the best quantity or not so we'll try another quantity let's say um, let's find another quantity or see that how the that quantity fits in right Let's take a smaller quantity. Let's say that is one thousand. So because CD will remain the same, that was eight point four million. Plus now demand is eighty four thousand divided by one thousand, multiplied by five thousand. Plus. Q by two that is one thousand divided by two multiplied by fifty we calculated it last time and we get eight point four million we get eighty four thousand five I guess four lakh twenty thousand. and then we have simply uh 25000 here so now we add up and we get
get eight million eight point eight four five millions. Okay, so now the point is in both of these questions we have two quantities which have different costs and we can do it for multiple quantities, but we cannot simply sit and keep hunching that which quantity would be better. So this uh, it's really important, but important that we have a formula that we directly quantity calculate that we have this quantity you will have the lowest possible cost. So let's get to that then. So here is the formula Q static. Uh, that is economic order quantity that equals 2 ds divided by hc uh, uh, based on two first order derivative liya hai total annual cost ka aur usse humne ye equation drive ki and then n static simply reflects that how many number of orders optimal lot uh, will be there right so let's put in uh, the amounts here that was for our practice question and see whether it really uh, gives us a lower cost or not. Q static. Okay, so let me let me just go for anything that I can clear of space for myself. That we can okay. So the formula was formula is Q static is equal to two into eighty four thousand that is our annual demand multiply by five thousand that is our ordering cost divided by HC that is 0. 0.5 into 100. So we'll calculate this and we'll get to something like so we get 4000. I will approximately write it 4100. So we it says that if we get a quantity of 4100, it would be the least possible cost for us. Let's get, check the total cost for it. CD same, so I'll write that 8.4 million. And then we have, we have plus D is the same 84,000 divided by 4,100 into 5000 plus 4100 divided by 2 into 50. So just calculate it and you'll get the total cost. And then you have to check that whether it is less than that or uh, not. And then you have to uh, inform in, in the comments that whether, yes, it has lesser cost or not. Now, let us go to a practice question. Here we have demand for a computer at a certain shop is 1000 units per month. And then the store incurs a fixed order placement, transportation, and receiving cost of dollar 4000 each time an order is placed. Each computer costs the shop $500 and the holding cost of retailer is $100. So now we have to evaluate the number of computers that the store manager should order in each replenishment. So demand is 12,000 computers per year and then the unit cost C is $500. Uh, we have holding cost 0 0.2 that was 20%. Uh, we have fixed cost of 4000 for each order. So we put it in the formula of Q static. So do not be confused with this SQRT return. So we, it is simply showing you 
but we have square root that is 2 multiplied by 12,000 which was the demand multiplied by 4,000 which was the order cost divided by 100 which is 0.2 of 500 right so 0.2 of 500 0 0.2 into 500 that gives you a value of 500 bucks so we get that and then we So we have Qstatic 980 computers. And then if you want to check what is our cycle inventory, we simply put it in the formula and it gives us 490. If you want to see the flow time, that is Q by 2D, 980 by 2 into 12,000, that is 0 0.04 here. Uh, let me just. Okay, so that thing here is. 0.49 air, uh, 0.041 air, and then this is 0.49 months. I want you to convert these 0.49 months into days and then respond to the questions. Right? Comments may be up at 0.49 months. Kitney din bante. Where Alu Alla Age or Vatareke Alu Ek, but I need dates okay, particularly. So that's good to see people going and working. Okay, what is okay? So now we have divided it into annual ordering and holding cost as well just a second okay so 980 was the q and we calculate the total cost and that is only the supply chain cost right this is only the total annual supply chain cost so now we end our lecture here and give you a question to practice <clears throat> so let's see if demand is equal to 36,000 per year, that is 36,000 per year. Ordering cost is equal to 3,500 per order. Holding cost is equal to 300. Let's make it, let's make it. 50 and you have to tell me what would be the q static what would be the total annual supply chain cost for this q static that you would have got that uh is you have to do this material uh, google classroom where add hoga उसी के नीचे कमेंट्स के अंदर यू हैव टू सिंपली गिव द आंसर्स ठीक है ये क्यू स्टेरिक क्या आ रहा है और टोटल एनुअल सप्लाई चेन कॉस्ट इसकी क्या आ रही है नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में हम इस न्यूमेरिकल की दोबारा से प्रैक्टिस करेंगे बट आई होप दैट ड्यूरिंग दिस वीक यू गेट थ्रू द लेक्चर्स एंड प्रैक्टिस दिस क्वेश्चन एंड द क्वेश्चन दैट आई गिव यू इन द लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर ओके सो दैट्स इट Let's meet again the next week. Uh, uh, Thank you very much and have a nice day. Allah Hafiz.